guys, for today's video, we are doing childhood art kits part two. If you haven't seen part one, I'm gonna link it up here. If you click that, it will show up down below. This video was actually a pretty popular request in my comments. Apparently you guys just like seeing me complete old childhood art kits that don't really work anymore. I'm gonna go get them. I have a lot of them. Okay, I'm just gonna introduce them really quickly because I added a bunch of stuff that wasn't in the first video. So this is Glow Explosion Paint by Crayola. This is a bedazzling kit. This is a friendship bracelet kit. It's a how to make your own snowflakes book. This is Rainbow Loom, very popular request. Those like felt coloring kits. A Build-A-Bear slash stitching kit. A latch hook. Hello Kitty rug, a beginner's stitching kit, paint by number, which is actually something I did in the first video, but there's more paint by numbers in here, so I'm keeping it in the pile, and three like paintable things. So up first, we are going to choose this. This is the glow explosion paint. I'm honestly just extremely curious if this actually glows in the dark, so that is why I'm choosing this first. <laughs> Glow Explosion Paint. Okay, so let's flip it over and look at the back first. It's great for parties, sleepovers, and nighttime fun. Mm-mm. I don't like that. Uh, this art kit, I- well, it's aggressive. Okay, and I'm opening it aggressively, but- So I got this art kit when I was young. I think it's my sister Alina's, actually. It's at least 10 years old, we'll say that. And I'm struggling to find the garbage. It's to the left. To the left. And off to a great start. These are the paints. They're very, like, big. It's like a Dorito bag when you leave it too long in a closet and then it swells up. So that's how old these paints are. Just because I feel like no one knows what I just said. You know how chip bags get like really swollen when they're old? Like they fill up with air? That's what I was saying about the paints. Anyway, back to the paints. I started shaking them for some reason and I realized some of them are crystals and some of them are liquid. You stir the crystal into the liquid and that's how you activate the glow. So this is the yellow liquid. And this one is the green liquid. Except when I poured it, it was not green. Why is this not green? Maybe it will look green when it's glowing. Also, I spilled that, so that's annoying. But okay, so here I'm mixing in the crystal. We can't really tell what's going on because we are in the light. So I'm just hoping at this point that the, the darkness will bring out the colors. I don't know. This is also a 10-year-old kit, so maybe it just doesn't work anymore. Unclear. So that was supposed to be orange right there, and it's red. And the white was supposed to be blue, and it's white. I don't know what's going on. But I went with this cat. I will say I do have a couple of complaints, and I don't know if they're valid complaints, because again, this is a very old kit. But the crystals didn't really melt or mix well into the liquid. It just kind of sat on top of it, and it was very, like, grainy. And then also this paint was very liquidy. It was, like, very watery, and it did not dry well. But it did glow in the dark. Here it is. Oh, wow! It is glowing! Holy... Wow! I am cringing at the way I said, Whoa! That was my, like, genuine reaction, so I'm embarrassed. But I started to paint the tiger now in the dark because I thought it'd be easier to see what's going on. You can see that the green is glowing the most. The orange is, like, kind of there, but you can't really see it. You see it more on the paintbrush, honestly. I don't know. Everything's very grainy, but it's it's glowing, so... Yeah, not much more to say about that. I feel bad being critical because it is so old, so I'll give it like a 5 out of 10, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna make an executive decision here. I have tried this one, actually, and it is extremely difficult to do. It was really hard for me to do as a kid, which is why I never finished it, and it's very hard for me to do as an adult. I'm going to just... We're cutting this one. This one is never going to be completed. It's just garbage. Not doing it. So the next one is actually going to be this, a magnet paintable. What I have to say about this dog really is look at it. It's a mess. And there's an ambulance playing outside my house right now. I hope it's getting picked up on the microphone because that is how I feel about this dog. The actual structure of this dog is just a mess. It's just a wreck. It's very chunky, so like no matter how much you paint it, it's just going to come out chunky underneath. There's nothing I could do to save this thing, so I don't know why I even tried. And on top of that, I think it's supposed to be like a, a baby, obviously, because it has like a bib. It's like a baby dog, and I don't know why I put eyebrows right there, the eyebrows look horrible, ignore those. I, I kept them, sadly. And it also just has like a huge, like, circular nose, very chubby cheeks. I made the eyes look horrifying, but I was going for like a cinnamon apple kind of thing, apple cinnamon dog, or like a 
you know, like a caramel, apple, apple cinnamon type of deal. That was the theme. Uh, oh, that's so bad. Quite, quite scary. Get away from I'm me! I'm so scared! <laughs> and I filled in the mouth with black, which kind of just made it worse, and I don't know what I was doing. Then I tried to put, like, cinnamon sprinkles powder on the arms and legs, and it looked weird, so then I decided to paint the arms and legs with a brownish color. But this is the final dog. I painted it. I finished the art kit. I think it looks horrible. I'm so sorry. We're gonna move on. Before we do the next two art kits, I'm just gonna do the shout-outs right now. We have Isabel, Tamed Artist, Elsa, Juju9Kitten. Kitten. Kitten. Why did I say it like that? That was weird. Kitten? Kitten? I'm struggling. Uh, awesome Blossom, XX Smiley XX, Schultz Family Farm, and Shira. Hello, everyone. Hi. I do want to just make a quick announcement about Rainbow Loom. Um, I know this was like a pretty popular request. Like ev pretty much everyone wanted me to do Rainbow Loom in part two. And I feel bad because I really wanted to do Rainbow Loom. But I tried it and then I realized that I lost the part of Rainbow Loom. Like the, the little thing that you hook it to. So I'm going to order that online and then I will do it in part three. The next thing that I'm doing is the embroidery bear. This art kit is the Teddy Buddy Creativity for Kids. You build the bear, you stuff it, and then you do stitching on its sweater. So I already actually built the bear. Uh, I stuffed it when I was younger. One of them is my sister's, and I think, I guess she tried stitching on this sweater. It didn't come out great. So I never stitched my sweater, so we're gonna do that. We have this little, like, stitching circle. Just googled it. It's called a cross-stitch hoop. Learning. Uh, so you just stick that inside the sweater and then close it up. Once that is secured, you just want to thread the embroidery thread through your little sewing needle and kind of just do whatever you want. I decided to start off with a flower because I thought that might be easier to start off with since I'd never stitched anything before and it was still quite hard. I was trying to make it look like the flower was tilting forward so I made the top petals bigger than the bottom ones. I don't know if that came across or it just looked like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> nodding it in the back and then I'm moving on to the stem. And I don't know, I guess this art kit was very hard for me. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because the sweater had such big holes in it so like you couldn't really tell where your thread was going to go. I've also never done embroidery before so it, that might also be part of it. I do think that this kit is really good if you want to learn embroidery and also you want a stuffed bear. This is totally the kit for you, you know. Uh, up here I decided to do a B. I wonder where I got my inspiration from for this. Certainly didn't come from the box. Nope. I made that up by myself, guys. Uh, so yeah, I, I, did, I did the B because I don't know, I thought the B looked easy. I, I really was just trying to go for easy things at this point. I think you guys can probably tell, I just was not a very big fan of this kit. I don't know what it was, I just found it quite boring and annoying and hard. That's all I found it. Uh, so he, besides the part that you get a bear, I mean the, the, the bear is fun, except when you look at the outside of the box. Look at the outside of the box and you think you're getting this. You think you're getting this beautiful bear and then you get this! That horrifying anteater of a bear. I don't know. I'm gonna give this like a 3 out of 10. The last one that I'm doing is actually going to be annoying to get. This, the felt coloring, oops, thing. This art kit I'm actually very excited to do. I used to love these when I was little, so I have a bunch of these already done. I didn't do the horse and the dolphins, but everything else is basically done. I have this love one. I have a Pooh Bear one. I loved Pooh Bear growing up, so that's why I have Pooh Bear and Piglet right there. Um, behind that I think is a Celtic cross. So we do have a bunch of them already completed. I decided to go with this horse. I just had to google what it was called. I kept thinking of merry-go-round and I was like this is not what it's called. It's called a carousel. I don't know why that was not coming to me. Like, I could not think of the word. Wait, no I'm wrong. Okay, so you can call it a merry-go-round or a carousel. They are the same thing. Don't want to lead people astray here. I went with like a coral, like salmon color for the color of the horse, and I 
almost immediately regretted it. I don't know why I went with that color. I think at the end it looks fine, but initially painting that horse this weird flesh color, just it didn't sit right with my soul, you know? Mm-mm, I don't like that. I looked at it and I was like, oh, I wish I could change it. But that's the thing about markers. You can't go back once you do marker. And that's why I don't really like markers. I don't like to color with them because I, I just feel like they always come out streaky and I can't change it. And for some reason, my right hand always smears it. And that is what happened here. If you look directly in the center of the horse, you will see a small smudge, just a very, a very tiny, tiny smudge of gray right on the horse. And that is haunting me. <laughs> But I think this came out good, and it honestly, it did change my opinion maybe a tiny bit about markers. Besides that one smudge right there. The smudging never, it never stops, the smudging. But maybe I'll try some markers in my Create This book. Maybe. Maybe. And that is the end of the video, guys. Subscribe if you want to, otherwise don't. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye!